Hi everyone. We are going to be solving right triangles with this lesson and our learning targets are I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find side lengths, I can use triangle sum to find angle measure, and I can use trigonometry to find side lengths of right triangles. Okay, so we've worked in the past in the first two. What we're doing new today is going to be trigonometry. So let's refresh our minds on the first two. Okay, so if we have a right triangle, we're going to identify first the right triangle with that little box. And we know that this box means this angle is 90 degrees. So angle C measures 90 degrees and angle B is 25 degrees. And we have the legs of the right triangle measuring four units and six units. So the part that we're missing is the hypotenuse AB. And remember that the hypotenuse is the one that's always across the 90 degree angle. Okay, so I can just draw from here across, and I'm going to say H for hypotenuse. Okay, so how are we going to solve this right triangle? Well, if we use the Pythagorean theorem for the side length, we're going to be looking for side length AB. And so we're going to take this square root of four squared plus six squared. Okay, and that's going to be equal to 7.2 units. And I can just easily do that in the calculator. Right here, I have a TI-84 uh, plus CE. I'm going to find the square root over here by clicking second button, x squared. So that gives me the square root symbol. And I'm going to type in four squared plus six squared and hit enter. And as you can see, as you can see, I have 7.2111. So I just rounded to 7.2 units. Okay, now, how are we going to find the measurement of angle A. Well, we know from the triangle sum theorem that the measure of the interior angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. So I'm going to set up my equation and then I'm going to substitute what I know. And when I add 25 plus 90, I get 115, then you subtract 115 from both sides, leaving you with 65 degrees. Okay, so in this case, we use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for a missing side and the triangle sum theorem to find the missing angle. So this is review from previous sections that we worked on. Now let's learn about trigonometry. Trigonometry is the study of the relationship between side lengths and angles of triangles. And right now, what we're going to be learning is the relationship between all the side lengths and angles of a right triangle. When you move on to uh, higher level math, that's when you learn about the relationship of side lengths and angles of any type of triangle. All right, so let's get started with my triangle person. I'm going to put my little triangle person here at point A. And since I am at point A, I'm going to call this my reference angle. And my reference angle relates to the point of the angle, the vertex, where I am standing at to look at the sides of my triangle. So I can have side AC, and we're going to name side AC the hypotenuse because it's the side that is across my 90 degree angle. Okay, then I need my adjacent side. My adjacent side is always going to be the side that helps to form the angle that is our reference angle. And from our reference angle, if I look at that point A, and I'm going to go across, that is going to be 
my opposite side. Okay, so adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. That is how we're going to refer to all the side lengths of our right triangles. All right, let's take a look at this other triangle. Notice that this triangle has a different orientation from the previous picture. Nevertheless, I still have triangle ABC that is a right triangle. And I am going to pick up my triangle person here. And I am going to call this my reference angle. So from this angle is where I'm going to label all the sides of the triangle. Okay, so once again, we start out with labeling the hypotenuse because that's the easiest side to recognize. It's always the longest side of the triangle, the one directly across the 90 degree angle. Then we're going to select our opposite side. Well, if C is my reference angle, I'm going to go all the way across until I hit the side that is opposite from my reference angle. So that leaves me with the adjacent side being BC. Okay, there are three primary trigonometric functions and they are called sine and the shortcut is SIN. The shortcut is SIN. Okay, so the sine of my angle C is going to be the ratio that is the opposite side, so side AB, with the hypotenuse side AC. Okay, so sine is an operation, it's a function. The sine of angle C is equal to the side that is opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, now let's take a look at cosine C and the shortcut for cosine is COS and that is adjacent over hypotenuse. And I shouldn't call these um, shortcuts, they're abbreviations. Okay, now tan C, that is the tangent of angle C is equal to opposite over adjacent. And we have a mnemonic device to recall these uh, relationships and it's, it's, uh, it's called so ka toa okay? And if I have a different reference angle, what would happen to my side lengths? Think about that. I also want you to think about what would happen if we put our triangle person at B. Would we be able to use SOKATOA if our reference angle was angle B? No, we wouldn't be able to because if we're here at angle B as the reference angle, the hypotenuse is also my opposite side and we can't have the same side for the, um, for the ratio, okay? So whenever we take a reference angle, it's never going to be the 90 degree angle. It's always going to be one of the acute angles.